Hello? Hello? All right, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> Let me pop out the chat real quick. Move it over here. Uh, throw water on the phone. <laughs> hey, that's a good idea. That'll probably get that sorted out pretty quick. How's it going, mate? All right. So, um, as you guys can see, I'm boot looping right now. Um, I dropped my phone earlier. Um, I, it, it fell on the concrete, and the power button here got smushed in, and it will not pop back out. I tried taking a razor and just popping it out of there, which I'm going to try again before I um, really go hard on this thing. But I'm thinking I want to tear this thing apart and try to get the power button to unstuck. Um, and if I can't, I've had this phone for like four years now, um, and I'm ready to move on, I guess. This is a sign that it's like, hey, we're done. Um, but yeah, so we're just boot looping. Um, I think the phone's a little thirsty. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay. So, I'm going to move the camera down so you guys can see what's going on here. And we'll get it started. Let's get it started. So, I'm going to move this out of the way. Um, I don't particularly have uh, the best setup for phones either. Let me turn that fan off. That's going to be irritating. Come on. All right, there we go. Okay. Yeah. So now we've just got the Razer phone here. Um, my toolkit is pathetic. It's like this is it. These tiny screws. I need to grab one of those like full-on um, phone toolkits. But uh, yeah, why is your mouse pad so small? Just is. Yep, it's the way it is. Okay. So we're gonna start by digging into this power button here and just seeing if we can pop it back out. Um, I'm not sure if I can. And it was interesting, while I was on my way home, it felt like I could... I could press the power button. So... But, yeah, that's really stuck. So the power button doubles as the fingerprint sensor, so I don't really want to go hard on this thing. Um, and hurt it too much. Hey, you, get, get the hell. Freaking cat. Uh, I also broke my phone just yesterday. So let me show you this. Um, we'll move, oh, not what I wanted to do. Move this down a little bit. Um, okay. So I'm going to show you guys something something let's move that over here okay so the next phone if I can't fix this that I'm gonna get Asus ROG phone 5 and I'm sure you guys have probably heard of this thing um, it's very impressive it's like one of the uh, Windows 11 cringe oh shut up Windows 11 is pretty good there's like no difference between Windows 11 and Windows 10. Woo, $1,000, I will not pay that. But um, this is the phone that I wanna get. Uh, it's got the Snapdragon 888, uh, a 144 hertz AMOLED display. I don't really care about the, uh, the front facing speakers. I mean, every phone's kinda got that. It's got a dual battery system, which I think is interesting. But I noticed that when people were doing the Ben test with this phone, it was cracking right down the middle, which makes sense because you got a big battery here, big battery here. Um, the battery, you can actually do what you do in the Asus laptops where you can decide how much the phone actually charges up to. Um, if you use Windows 11, you're cringe, change my mind. Um, I will. I will in a bit. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I, I think it looks pretty good, but I would not buy the $1,000 version. I, I would find one. Like, Amazon sells one for 730 bucks. That's not so bad, to be honest. Um, it looks like they've got one on eBay for 500 bucks. I don't know if I could trust that, though. Um, so, yeah. Um, that's the worst-case scenario. If I can't fix this phone, I'm going to go with the Asus ROG phone. 
So, let's get into trying to fix this thing. Um, it's all Windows, calm down. No, for sure. See, and that's the thing. Um, actually, I guess I could show that off real quick before I begin this process. Um, let me show you the reason that I actually kind of like Windows 11. And you, don't, you guys don't have to look at my crotch anymore. Let's, let's get back up here. Um, so, Windows 11, to me is a more beautiful Windows 10. It, it operates the exact same way. It, it does, um, everything Windows 10 does is just more beautiful. Um, the whole settings stuff has changed and um, it seems to work a lot better. I, I mean, it, it, it's, they've kind of isolated a lot more of the settings into this system page, uh, but then you still have control panel, which I really like. This is one of the only parts that I don't like show more options that that's unnecessary and that needs to go away and then this tray here but beyond those two things uh then the reason i don't like this tray is firstly this recommended show your recent files here it's like i turn that off um and then you also can't organize these the way you want so it, i mean i can move this over here or over there yeah yeah you're really helping me demonstrate how good you are windows 11. um but I couldn't, I, I went and put all my game stuff down here. I had to fill this to make a second page. I can't just drag GeForce Experience down here because it'll move Discord up to this page, which is really annoying. Um, but either way, w let's, let's get into trying to fix this thing. And if you guys know any tips and tricks on how to do it, you can let me know. Um, so the reason that I want to break into this thing is because I was looking on a bunch of forums when this happened and I was like, okay, how do I fix this? And there were people who were saying, no, the phone is bricked now. You cannot fix it. Um, I went to try to RMA it and they told me that I was out of warranty, so I'm not going to be able to do it. And, uh, I was like, okay. So at this point, my phone is out of warranty. Um, it's been past like four years out of warranty. So there's no way, um, so we're just going to tear it open, and I actually was going to see if I could go off of a video to do it. So let me open up YouTube, and we will find a breakdown. Razor, Razor phone to breakdown. It's probably going to be by, oh, come on. Probably going to be by Jerry Rig Everything because that guy is the guy who does all the breakdowns. Yeah, Jerry Rig Everything, uh, Razor Phone, Tear Down, Tiny Vibrator. Oh, this is the original. This is the second one. With all of its screws and associated right. with wire cables. Before I can set the motherboard back down, Shit. though, it needs the screen ribbon cable plugged into the underside. Okay. Don't care about that. I just want to get into the phone initially. Okay. So I'm going to take my Razor. This is actually perfect because I can just zoom in. And when I say take my razor, I'm not talking about the phone. Um, I'm going to take this and get up in here in this bottom little bit right here to start off. That's at least what he did. Oh God, I just broke the tip of the razor into the razor. Shoot. I have a feeling I'm gonna end up cutting myself a few times during this process. Let's see if I can. Oh, that's as far in as it goes. Damn it. Uh, let me try this side. What the Hello. hell? Cat, get out of here. Jesus. Oh, god damn it. Not an iPhone. All of its screws and associate. The rate. Okay. Heat. Oh, heat. Yes. Yes. Heat. All right, I'm going to grab a blow dryer. Dude, damn good idea. That's just like 
obvious. Um... Hopefully, the blow dryer doesn't break the, uh, the breaker, and I end up... The calm, soothing sounds of a hair blow dryer. Did you try putting it in some rice yet? Yeah, that'll help. Yeah, that'll fix this. All right, come on, you little crack. Get out of there. You piece of crack. Heat, okay. More heat. You're rape. <laughs> it's gonna be hot to the touch, huh? Hang on. It's definitely hot to the touch. Crazy man on shrooms melts phone in an attempt to get a small piece of crack out of his phone to do it. <laughs> uh, that's ridiculous. All right. Come on, you little dick. Get out of there. Oh, man. I might be blocked by this one part, man. That'd be annoying. Oh, oh, I'm in. I'm in. Yes, I'm in. All right. Good stuff. Damn it. Okay, now, like this guy was saying, you don't want to go in too far <laughs> because you could end up damaging a component on the inside. It looks like it's gonna need a little more heat. Dude, what's with the whole try putting in rice? I broke my power button. It's not water damage, guys. And also, I'm pretty sure that whole rice thing is a myth. I'm gonna cut myself. Holy shit. Alright. Yeah, and you guys are right. You gotta be careful. There are some wires on the edges here, so you wanna go slow and steady. Slow and steady. Like peeling a goddamn apple. All right, let me see if I can just pop this off by now. This is glass, this back panel, it is glass, so. Oh, I've never ripped a Razor phone apart before, so this is actually gonna be really cool. Oh, let me position it into the camera so you can see all that good stuff. So I got a bunch of glue. Man, even if I fix this power button, I, I, I think I'm going to screw this phone, man. Um, I mean, I've seen people take them apart and put them back together, and they look damn good. Uh, generally, they'll, they'll scratch the black stuff off of um, the glass, so then it's clear. And you can see the components on the inside. And then they'll take this off, too. Actually, I believe that's what... The clear version I made was cosmetically disappointing. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what uh, Jerry Rig did. He he made a clear version. Um, man, yeah, that's cool though. 
I ain't never seen a razor phone like this before. I've never seen a razor phone naked before. Alright, I want to move this so that you guys can see what's going on. Now, what I need to do is just get to here. But it looks like there are a bunch of screws. So, let's see. I've got a flathead. I don't know if that's... I don't think I have a small enough screwdriver. Maybe I do. Um, it looks like I don't. I may not have a small enough screwdriver to get to these. Which is another reason that, like, one of those kits would be real nice. God damn, those are small. Um, you might not need to disassemble the phone if it's the button. That's a good point. I might be able to actually just get in there from here. But I don't know. See, okay, so this is the deal, though. Um, we've got a bunch of screws. The power button is right, nope, right there. That's the power button right there. So I need to get into there. And I've got screws blocking my entrance. This is why the PS5 is better than mobile. It works out of the box and you have no issues. <laughs> um, yeah. So... Yeah, so the if, if anyone's uh, new to the stream, the reason I'm doing this is because the power button is stuck. And... Uh, Razer is not going to support this device anymore. They're not going to, well, at least mine. They're not going to help me fix this. Um, so I have to figure out a way to get in here and fix it. Otherwise, I buy a new phone. And I figured it would be fun uh, to do a breakdown. So if you guys give me a few minutes, I'm going to go look for some screwdrivers. The smallest stuff I have. And I thought it was, yeah, I thought it was these guys. Um... And, yeah, that's definitely not going to work. Let me try this real quick. I might be able to force it in. Yeah. Force it in. Actually, is that working? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That worked. I can't even believe it. Except for it's not coming out. How do I get you out? I need a magnet. Oh, where's all the magnet? Where's all the stuff that I need when I need it? Huh? Huh? And sorry if my head's getting in the way if you guys can't see what's going on. I'm also going to try to... Screw that. It's out. Alright. Come on. Come on. You know you want to. Um, that might have been an outlier instead of actually doable. Oh, no. No. I got another one. Dude. You think you're jerry-rig everything? I'm berry-rig everything. I'm gonna be able to pull the, all these out of here. I didn't think that'd be possible with a screwdriver this, this big. Oh, that's gone forever. No, I found it. All right. Okay, there's the other one. I'm going to put these in the tray so that I don't lose them. Um, maybe you could add text on the screen somewhere just so you don't have to explain why you're fixing your phone every time unless you don't mind repeating yourself. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't mind. If, if someone's like, please don't strip the screw. I've mine for three s years in the... Uh, please strip the screw. <laughs> um, what's your opinion on Chinese manufactured phones like Xiaomi or Huawei? Uh, I, th I think they're great. Honestly, I had a friend who had a Xiaomi when I was working at Falcon Northwest, and it was amazing. You should back up all the files and stuff before you brick it accidentally. Oh, that's a damn good point. Well, I can't. See, that's the thing. 
I don't really have anything on here that I can't get back. Um, I can log into all of my accounts and get it all back. There was actually a point where I tried to root this phone and we reset this thing like 50 times and I got everything I needed right back to the way it was. So, um, yeah, everything is backed up to some sort of cloud. I mean, even my notepad that's on here is cloud backed up. So, we're gonna be fine. I just... Even if I brick it, I'm not worried, you know? Like, I don't care if this phone... Um, gets bricked. What I care about is seeing if I can fix it. And if not, um, then I'm just going to have to get something else. <clears throat> and if I can, I'm going to give myself props. I'd be like, well done, Barry. See, because I've fixed, like, tablets and stuff before. Um, you know, installed new screens, installed new batteries, stuff like that. So, I feel like... This should be pretty easy to do. And if um, Jerry rig everything, if this guy can do it, monkey see, monkey do, am I right? I gotta be able to get it done. So, let's see if I can not strip this one, but get it out of there. I might strip it. Oh, no, I got it. Nice. Dude. That was the one that was being a pain in the ass, too. All right. <clears throat> uh, it's boot looping after drop. Yes. Uh, just look it up on Reddit. Some guy seven years ago will have the same issue, but all the comments are going to be deleted. If you and you won't see how to fix the problem, dude. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So I dropped it and it's boot looping. Uh, the power button is stuck, so I need to get in there and fix that. So uh, let's see if I can use this guy to get these screws out of there. I can. I can't believe this. That's insane. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, my... Yep. My cat's gonna choke on that later. Man, that screw was so tiny. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. You know what they say. If you put something back together and you have spare parts left over, it just means you built it better than the person who did it the first time. We don't need every screw. We just need some of them. All right, bam. Um, I should be able to get to, yeah, this one last screw and I should be able to get to, oh no, actually there's th three more, three more screws. So I need to get, that one out of there. Yep. All right. That's a tiny little sucker. Um, you dropped like two things. Have you tried asking the phone to politely stop it? Stop it. Stop it. Go to the home screen. All right. Let's see. Let's see if it'll do it. Yeah. Boot looped again. All right. Why did I expect that? But thanks for the suggestion. You know, I was really hoping that was going to work. All right. Get in there. Last one. And that's always the one that causes the most trouble. Don't strip. You be good. Slow and steady wins this race. All right, got it. Yep. Whoops. Cool. Okay. So now, one thing that I ought to do. This is the LED strip for the Razer logo. Um, 
this little sticker here. I don't want to hurt it just in case I can still continue to use this phone. Um, come on. Uh, button side down. Just drop it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. You know, I did kind of try that a little bit. I started banging it up against the table, and I was like, all right, maybe if I can just unstuck the power button this way. And uh, that didn't work. So, okay. So, yeah, there's, there's the LED... May not have needed to do that, but let me see what it would take to get this out of here. Um, what am I going to need to do? Okay, let's start here. Oh, good. I hope I didn't just ruin everything. Oh, that's probably why there's another screw in here. Man, they're so small, they're difficult to see. All right, there we go. <clears throat> Let's try popping this battery out of here. Okay, all right, we're in. We are in, baby. Okay, and I can see, I can see the thing, so I'm not going to pull this battery out. I'm still actually, oh man, I may have to, I may, I may need to do that. Okay, so I'm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, I turned that off. Um, oh, man. Okay, so yeah, the battery is unplugged, which I totally meant to do. I'm going to have to do a full breakdown, it looks like. So taking out more screws. Uh, how about doing the same thing again? Drop it like your first born child. <laughs> um, you know, as the first born, I say first born, best born. So, yeah. Yeah. Be as careful as possible. Pierce the battery with your knife. Guys, I'm telling you, um, this is fine. You know, if it breaks, there were people already saying that there's just no way to fix that kind of problem. And actually, when I was looking at it, and I was toying with it a little bit, I think I understand why they said that. It's probably going to be something that is incredibly difficult, or I would need a replacement piece. And at that point, let's get a new phone. I don't want to replace it. Wait for a replacement piece. <laughs> Barry, no! It was pretty blasphemous of me to just bend the battery up like that. I generally wouldn't do it. If, if I honestly, if I cared a little more, I would not have done that. Like if this were a newer phone, um, this is more about the breakdown than the fix at this point. So please do not worry, guys. This is my tech. And if we're going to break it, just enjoy that. Enjoy me breaking it. I think that's all the screws. 
So we're gonna go up under here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh good. You're doing fine. As someone who's repaired multiple phones, you're doing fine for a beginner. Some mistakes here and there, but you're doing fine. Okay, cool. Usually buttons will use a tactile switch or a capacitive button. Um, it means there'll probably be an incredibly difficult ribbon cable module. Oh, great. Can't wait. Okay, so speaking of ribbon, <clears throat> we've got the LED right there. And I wonder, I'm just going to move that out of the way for now. Actually... I know that generally you just flip these. Yeah, okay. Okay, so that's out of there. I'm going to do the same thing with the battery. Flip this up. Pop that out of there. Okay. And now we're at the point where I'm seeing... The power button. Okay, so if you can see that right there, that's the power button right there. Um, and inside we've got a few cables, but nothing that's really showing me why it's stuck. It just is justice. Just is. It looks like I can take it apart. Piece of metal in here. Oh, that's another cable. Oh, I see. Okay. Shoot. Yeah, I think this thing is broken. I mean, okay, here, let me do this. I'm going to get up under this thing. Okay, that's now unplugged. That was the power button connector. Go in here and open this up. And just take the power button completely off and see what happens if I do that. Um, um, might be tactile. Uh, try unplugging everything and putting it back together. One out of ten times, that'll fix the boot loop. <laughs> <laughs> oh god you guys are helpful as hell you know that if I had you guys for tech support I wouldn't need enemies at all I'd just be mad all the time okay so we got there it is okay so yoof yoof Okay, so it does look like, oh, yeah. Why is that broken? I don't understand. Because it doesn't seem like, oh, did that just pop back in? Doesn't seem like that should have been broke. Okay, so just so you guys are aware, when I click that, there's a little tactile button in there. Click, 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 click. Yeah. Yeah. So that's totally how you activate it. I'm not sure why it's stuck. Because there's nothing blocking it. It's like the little mechanism. This thing is supposed to be pushing up against it, and it's not. But this also doesn't look broken. So I'm going to put this back together. At the very least, I'm going to put this part back together. If I can. What am I doing wrong here? Oh, it might be that way. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Screw that back in. Come here. Am 
My cat is flipping out right now. In my latest video, people were asking for an OnlyFans. What the hell is that all about? You want me to do the Linus thing where I hold a graphics card over my naked body? Oh, God. Okay. So if I... Jesus, this is a pain in the ass. I really need a better toolkit. Like, one of those little phone tech toolkits, man. Someone sponsor me a toolkit, please. Yeah, that is still not... I don't understand. I don't know why. Why are you stuck? You don't make sense. Dick. Um... It's probably a short. Oh, no! Okay. If you lick the battery, it'll get rid of the boot loop. Yeah. Um, try to plug the battery... Plug in the battery while the button is free to move. Okay. Let me plug this back in super fast and I'll do that. Plug the battery back in and see if it'll move. My goodness. How do these little Asians do this? How do they put those together? Like, their fingers are not this tiny. It's a robot. It's got to be a robot. But the, before that, it was little Asians. How did they do this? I want someone in the comments to be really offended by that. How dare you speak the truth about where our technology comes from, you dick! <laughs> oh, God. Sorry, I guess I won't look at reality the way it is. Oh, that does not want to go back on there. Come on. Um... I'm Asian, and I'm very offended, and I would like a verbal apology. <laughs> oh, God. That's awesome. Do you have... Okay, here, here's, here's the part that's important. Do you have little Asian fingers? And if so, come over and put this back together for me. Oh, whoops. I'm not even showing you guys what I'm doing. I'm going to move this so you guys can see. I'm currently trying to stick this thing back in its slot and it really, really doesn't want to go back in. Oh! Oh! Got it. Okay. Battery time. So, this doesn't really necessarily have to go back in other than this and this, I think, yeah, yeah, okay, and then this plugs in, um, oops, oops, that had to plug in first, let's try this again, yeah, that needs to go there. Okay, there we go. Plug that in first, then we'll put the battery back together. And we'll see if I can power her on and uh, get her to, oh, oh, there she goes. She's booting, she's a booting, but I still can't press the booting. So we're still screwed. Yeah, she's still boot looping. <laughs> Uh, I still want my verbal apology or you're getting cancelled. I'm sorry that I said Asians make phones. <laughs> um, 
If the brace is bent inward, it'll permanently be pressed. Oh. Ooh. Okay. So let me see. I'll unplug the battery. And I'll go back in for another look and see if I can unbend that guy. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. That's great. You guys know where that's from? Let me know if you know what movie that's from. And if you're like, well, duh, Barry, it's like obvious, then I'm going to be very happy for you. Where did my screwdriver go? I need that other one that... Where did that go? Oh. All right. Uh, it might be the frame is bent too. Okay. Yeah, good idea. Well, we're going to test everything, so... See if I can get this thing going again. Thank you guys for helping out, too. That's awesome. I'm glad some of you guys have done this kind of stuff. So, this little metal thing that's in here, um, I don't remember what you called it. Let me look again. Um, the frame or the bracket. Okay, so this bracket. Yeah, this guy that's in here. He needs to be perfectly straight. Is that what you're telling me? Um, I don't know. To me, that does look straight. Here, um, I mean, that's a pretty damn straight piece of metal if I've ever seen one. Um, I'll still try to bend it a little bit because it does look like. Man, you know, I lay it on this flat surface and goddamn. Okay, so let's take a look at the frame. So could it be this in here? Well, it might be too close, to be honest. Because I need to be able to push that in. And as of right now, it stays in. That's the thing. It's staying in. So I wonder. I wonder. Okay, so let me show you guys this real quick. Uh, I'm, I'm learning what the heck is going on here. Um, I'm going to move this light so that maybe you guys can see a little better. Okay, so down in here, right here, we have a little flap. This little flap. And on the inside of this flap, right where my screwdriver is at, there's a button. And that's the power button. That's this little ribbon right here is the power button. Now, this button on the outside it presses against this. So if this is pressed down and I press against it, I've just pushed power, right? And I'm doing that currently. Um, but what I'm noticing, when I put this back in there, and I'm gonna do that real quick, is I'm not getting any wiggle room. Okay. So now I, yeah, so now I press the button and I'm not getting any wiggle room at all. It's just stuck. It's just stuck. And I lost a screw. Freaking damn it. These are important. So I'm not sure what the problem is. Bend it slightly towards the battery. The piece of metal? All right. Um, bend it slightly towards the battery. 
I might need pliers for that because this thing is um, maybe not. Urgh. Okay. Urgh. I don't know if I even dented it. All right, hang on. Side of the desk power activate. Okay. Oh yeah, I did that. Yeah, that's that is bent a little. All right. So now if I put it on the desk. Yeah, okay, that is bent a little. Rock on, let's see if that worked. All right. No, no, I'm still, I'm still stuck as soon as. Warrant expired. Um, yeah, the warranty is expired. Put folded paper between them? What in the world is that going to do? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure the button is already pressed up against the piece of metal, and that's the problem we're having. Um. Honestly, I kind of want to tear this whole thing apart and just look at it now. Um, I'm kind of gonna give up on this thing and say it's screwed, and that's fine. Um, I don't have any replacement parts. I, I just, I just took mine apart. So, that's what all this is. So what do you guys think? Barry, never give up. A tear donut is always fun. Try to reset the button. Flex... A reseat the button. Uh, you okay? You okay? I mean, I did do this. I did do this, and it no work. Oh, dude. So today, I wake up in the morning, uh, and I go to get my my father. He had a doctor's appointment, so I go in and pick him up. And there's a car accident on my street. A really bad car accident. They were like hauling people out in gurneys and stuff. It, it looked serious. Um, and there's this cop at the scene, and he's blasting mariachi music, and he's got, like, this fat-ass mustache. It was it was cartoonish, uh, the, the stuff that was going... Like, you see this horrible wreck on the side of the road, and then there's just this... <laughs> This Hispanic cop blasting his mariachi. And, uh, yeah, he looks like he was out of a cartoon. Hey, senor, I think we gotta pull you over. It was that kind of thing. Uh, that black cable is the antenna cable. This thing that I just did? Oh, okay. Okay. Um, the button flex cable. Well, what is that? I, I've already done that. See, actually, I think the same stuff applies for these buttons over here. Man. I wonder what you think. Why is that a deal? I'd really like to get a multimeter to this. I helped an elderly couple that blew a tire. I don't know how, but apparently the curb ripped a big chunk out of the sidewall. Jeez! The button flex cable is the flap where the button is soldered on. I'm talking about this? Is that what you're talking about? Are you talking about this? Dudes, I think I think I'm just going to break it down. Let's just break it down, you know? It's obviously busted. And uh yeah, you know, like yeah, there's there's YouTube compression like you're talking about. Let's let's just break it down. 
we're going to break it down, we're going to have a good time, and I'm going to get a new phone. This one is done, so let's just take a look at what's inside of this thing. And it looks like more screws. So let's take... Can I take this plate off? I actually may want to pull my SIM card out of there before I go any further. Um, where's my... somewhere. And generally I stay so organized, I can't seem to find my stuff. Where are you? There you are. I knew you were in here. The plate is soldered on the motherboard. Oh, is it? Well, shit. That sucks. So I may not be able to get that off. I'm just gonna go work on videos instead. This isn't fun anymore. Ruin my phone. Cool. That's neat. I'm gonna take this USB C out of here, put it in an iPhone. Trust me, boys, I will not be buying an iPhone. Uh, like I said, the Asus ROG 5, that's going to be the next phone. So, I just didn't want to spend so much on it. I wanted to wait that it, uh, put it in a bin and get the ROG phone. Yep. Uh, considering inflation, the new Razer phone is not that more expensive. The new Razer phone? What? They have another one? Excuse me? Since when? Oh, I was going to use my phone to look it up. <laughs> God damn. Um, Razer... Oh. Hold on. Razer phone 2022. Razer phone 3. Razer phone 3, huh? Yeah, they still don't have a headphone jack, do they? No. Honestly, I don't want another Razer phone. The last Razer phone, or the last two phones that I've had were Razer phones. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done with them. I'm going with the ROG. The ROG 6 was announced? Really? No, look. Jafar. To fix this is going to take a lot of time and a lot of money. There's something going on with this power button thing. I can't even start the phone. Uh, okay, ROG, ROG 6. ROG Phone 6. ROG? What the hell? Asus ROG Phone 6. Alright. For those who dare... Uh, what do we got? 
It's got the RGB back, okay. Snapdragon 8, oh my god. Um, 165 hertz AMOLED display, why? That's unnecessary. Um, audio file grade dual front facing speakers. I want to see that they have the headphone jack still. Because that was one thing. They still, they have the headphone jack on the RGB Evolve. Dude, I don't need the RGB. I'll get the 5. I don't need the 6. And especially with the 5 coming out. Here, hang on, guys. Let me do this. Let's, uh, actually, I could keep that and just, here, one sec, dudes. One sec, dudes. There we go. Okay. So, don't get me wrong. Snapdragon 8 would be awesome. 3.2 gigahertz? Holy cow. Why? Why do you need that? 50 times faster. Dude, I always hated it when companies said that. It's 50 times faster. Okay, faster than what? 50 times faster than what? The new Apple iPad? Your last phone? It's just 50 times faster? Alright. 18 gigabytes of RAM. That's ridiculous! No one needs that! What are you guys thinking? Please just get it. Oh my god! Um, this video is becoming console peasant. Should I spend 30 bucks on a replacement battery? Um, and back glass for my razor 2 30 bucks to get a replacement that's not bad honestly and it was pretty easy to get to the battery in this thing so i i think that'd be pretty fine 30 times larger all new wait wait wait, wait. or 30 percent larger 85 percent larger wait what are you talking about the graphite sheet oh i see um Is this thing out yet, or they just announced this? Oh my god, really? They're like, well, look at what 120 hertz is. is shit. But like 165 hertz is good. <laughs> oh my god. This company is... Come on. That is not what 120 hertz looks like. They're crapping on their old technology like it was even bad. You want to stay on Android? Yeah, I do. Um... JRE made a full... The Joe Rogan experience made a full teardown? Really? Um, up to 720 hertz touch rate. Jesus. You're like, here's a regular display. Socks. Here's Samsung's AMOLED. Yeah. Ugh. Boogers on that one. No. Great. Okay. Their last one was AMOLED. I don't see why you would need to update to the 6. Uh, color accuracy, that's fine. What? Okay, what? That's pretty neat. That is pretty neat. Oh, what the hell? The phone just has that? Uh, how many games are even going to utilize stuff like that? But damn, that's cool. What? That's ridiculous. Gyroscope aiming, of course. Yeah, we've had that ever since like the first iPhone. The 5 does as well. It does? Okay. Haptic. Um... 130 hertz vibration frequency, up to 20% improved energy consumption, 80% improved vibration acceleration. And then you got the gaming controller cooler thing on the back. Excuse me? <laughs> oh my god. They're like, well, it's a Nintendo Switch. That's what we made. We made a Switch. Jesus Christ. Can you emulate the Switch on your phone? Do they have that? 
Let me know if they have that. I'm, I'm curious if they have, like, emulators. Because if I could emulate Switch games on this, that'd be neat. I, I do like that they have um, Armory Crate in here. That's cool. You can go tweak it a little bit. Um, what I thought was really neat about these phones was the fact that you can decide where your battery charges up to. You, so you just put in, like, 60%. Um, you can emulate the 3DS. That's... That's close. That's close. Audio evolved. Uh, dual speakers, and there we go. There's a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but the I remember the headphone jack in the last one was like this really incredible DAC that was just crazy powerful. 3,000 milliamp hours. The Monster 6000 battery inside the ROG 6 combined with the 65 watt USB power delivery hypercharge adapter. Uh, this combo is going to charge it in just 42 minutes from 0 to 100. God damn. Um, and then the camera. I am curious. 8K Ultra HD. Are you shitting me? What? What? They're using the what? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? What? Dude. Dude. That's so unnecessary. It's like, this is a super phone. This is just a super phone. All right. I want to know, though. Tech specs, gallery support. Now I want... Uh, price. Yes, please. What's the price? Release date, pricing, specs. So, release date is July 5th. What? What? It's past that. Excuse me. I didn't see a buy now feature. Shopping. Oh, I guess it's... What? What? That's cheaper than the ROG 5. Why? Ninety hertz display. Oh, I guess this is like the the low end model. It's a low end. Oh, that's their Rog Phone six inch. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Yeah. Um. Let's get the one on AliExpress. That's definitely true. Oh, that's just the cooler. Um, okay, but let's do this. Google ROG Phone 5. Ron Phone? Rag Phone? Jesus, hell. Okay, so I'm going to do this. And then we're going to look at the ROG Phone 6. Okay, we're going to compare them, and I'm also curious about ROG Phone 5. Jesus. Damn it. <laughs> ROG Phone 5, Jesus, damn it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that's awesome. ROG Phone 5. Here is some information and, uh, about Asus ROG you. Phone 5. Play to the max no, with stop. ROG Phone 5, the gaming stop. phone that takes no prisoners. Stop. The gaming phone that takes no prisoners? Oh my god. Thank you, SSBM CPU, for the dollar. Um, just get a flip phone. No, AliExpress is a good marketplace. It legitimately is. I agree. Um... 
say the ROG Phone 5 price was just there. Well, I I'm I want to compare them first and then I'll here, I'll even do this. ROG Phone 6. Broadstone 6. ROG Phone 6. Cool. Listings for ROG Phone 6 around Stop. Medford. Here Stop. they are. Okay. I'm going to go to shopping on both those. Okay. So, let's take a look this is the five, and to me, this one's still amazing. It's a Snapdragon 888, whereas this one has the Snapdragon 8 Plus. So I guess that's just the brand new Snapdragon. <sighs> okay. Um, Motorola Razor of the Galaxy. Z, no, god damn. It's $1,600, the ROG Phone 6. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. Jeez, no. Not in anyone's dreams am I spending $1,600 on a phone. That is ridiculous. That's the best model, though. Well, sure. That makes sense. The Pro. Yeah. All right. So, let's take a look. So, I have a... Okay, it's not even 120. 144 hertz AMOLED display on the 5. That's ridiculous already, you know? 144 hertz. Um, and of course, they got the speakers, the, probably the exact same thing. You've got the 6,000 milliamp battery. Again, probably the same thing. They said they optimized it, but like, whatever. Uh, camera, you know, we'll go down to that. Dare to win. Oh, yeah. The 888. And like, really, what's going to be the big difference between the 888 and the 8 Plus? Maybe it is big, you know, but like... Are you going to notice? Are you really, really going to notice? Um, you know, phones are pretty quick. My smartwatch, it, it's pretty damn quick. I just don't see that there's going to be a huge difference. Uh, 300 hertz touch sampling rate. Now, there was something similar on the other one. Um, actually, we can go back and check that. Performance... Uh, it's, it's larger, all that. Yeah, 120 hertz. But then what do they say? Oh, Jesus. 720 hertz. So, okay. They, they definitely upgraded that for sure. But $1,600. Dude, no thanks. There's always going to be something better, you know? Always. Um, 15 degrees cooler, cooler buttons, and a kickstand. Dare to play. <sighs> Dare to game. Yeah, they're doing the same thing. I don't really game on my, uh, my phones very often, so. The Sony IMX686 flagship sensor so it's still got a damn good camera 64 megapixel I, I remember the camera on this was actually really impressive um, let's go down I don't care let's go down thinking evolved we are Apple look at our audio that's our battery okay the IMX 766 and this one's the 686 so yeah I mean definitely a better one um, one to one point five six. The rear triple camera on the ROG Phone Six will add pro grade quality to all your photos, whatever the setting. It features a flagship Sony IMX seven sixty six fifty megapixel. And this guy is the sixty four megapixel. Well, this one has more megapixels. <laughs> um, main wide and then uh, HDR processing ultra wide thirteen megapixel second camera and a macro camera. 
Enhanced software feature includes HDR10 plus video mode. And then let's see the pro video mode. I'm curious about that. Uh, oh, they say nothing about it. I guess they didn't really care. Oh, here we go. Um, triple camera, superb quality photos, flagship Sony, main wide angle, ultra 13 megapixels, second camera and macro camera, enhanced software, pro model, free zoom, wind filter, acoustic focus functions to make your video quality stand out, 24 megapixel front camera for high quality group selfies and live streaming videos. So they didn't really touch on that very much. Um, 16 million colors, I better get it, clueless. Some of the Nest 9, anything faster is faster, but an app opening a few milliseconds quicker isn't worth 600 bucks. Exactly! You know, like, I'm in such a hurry to open up Instagram. <laughs> like, this thing is gonna be fast as hell. This 5 is gonna be fast as hell. My, my Razer phone, I never considered that thing slow, and I had it for f five years. Come on! <laughs> then why get a gaming phone? Well, so what I like about this phone here is, firstly, the camera's pretty damn good. I like that. Um, the 6,000 milliamp battery I thought was really cool, but the fact that they have software so that you can stop its charging at 60%, 70%, um, all the way up to 100%, I really like that software, and I liked it in my laptop. It saves your battery, and you don't have to uh, um, fast charge the thing either, so you're not... Um, destroying the the life of this battery so that's one thing i really liked that they implemented um the sound design on these was really cool they have this uh where is it um let me see if i can find it there's a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack with a hi-fi grade ess DAC for lossless audio processing that's what i'm talking about an ess DAC. this this was one reason that i was really sad when when uh companies were getting rid of audio jacks for phones because I was like okay you've got this all in one device that's supposed to do everything but now I, I just have no option to use my audio jack um, to listen to music and audio through a wire just sounds better especially if you're listening to studio headsets you know if I want really high quality what I'll do is I'll buy a um, oh what is it like a Scarlet 202, what are those called? Or like a receiver, or like like a really high quality box DAC is what I'm buying, right? So that I can listen to my music at the highest quality possible. But then this thing, this thing has one of the nicest built-in phone audio DACs that, that can come with a phone, and LG used to do that too. LG was one of the only brands that actually put really high quality headphone jacks in their phones. I love that, and that's one thing that I really like about this phone. Um, the 144 hertz, I, I mean, you know, I could honestly do with 60, and I'm fine with it, but it's awesome that it has it. Um, always on HDR, like, none of that I don't really care about. The processor's good. I mean, this thing is just going to be good. Um, yeah, so I guess the things that I was really interested in was the battery, the camera... Uh, the processor, that headphone jack was really important to me. And it's kind of like your all-in-one device. And that's what these things are supposed to be. They're supposed to be a Swiss Army device that, you know, does everything you specifically want it to do. Now, for this one, you know, this one is badass. Do not get me wrong, okay? This thing is awesome. But RGB, do I need that for another $600? Actually, if I'm paying... Let's say, this is the ROG Phone 5. Um, what are the difference between the Z and the S? I'd have to look that up. The Pro. So let's just say I go with like the five to $700 one. Okay. So I'm going to spend another grand almost, another $900, just to get some RGB just to get the newest processor that's probably going to operate in this phone the exact same as the 888. It's going to be a little cooler. Really? Like this phone overheats? 165 frames a second? Do I need it? No, I don't. 
it has, this phone has everything that the other one has that I want. It has a better camera, for sure. I have a DSLR camera. Why do I need my phone to be the camera? It's not going to be my camera. It's going to be like, oh, I'm at the river and I want to take a photo snap. You know? So. Um, just get the MI12 Pro. S22 is a good camera. I don't really care for Samsung anymore, though. Um... With 8 Gen 1, it will overheat. Also, it's not $1,600. Is it not? That's what we were seeing here. $1,699. Oh, $1,700. Oh, sorry. And that's for the Pro. I mean, the other one's probably going to be like $1,100 or whatever. But, I mean, for 500 bucks, I paid more for the Razer phone. That was $744 for the Razer phone 2. So, I need to find out what the difference between the Pro, the Zs. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, what's the difference between the Z and the S? But I'll look that up later. Let's get back to building this, or breaking the phone down. The price in the UK is £1,099. The MI12 is Xiaomi, not Samsung. Oh, I was talking about the um, S22. Um, which, maybe that's not a Samsung either. Oh, man. Okay. I didn't sleep last night, guys. I'm dead as hell. Dead as hell. But if I do get that ROG phone... I will make a video on it and let you guys know what I think. Um, I just, I really like supporting the underdog brands because they tend to do stuff that the top companies are too afraid to do. Like, implement a goddamn head jer headphone jack. Um, I mean, 120 hertz display, Samsung wasn't doing that. Uh, Apple wasn't doing that. It wasn't until the smaller companies started doing it, and they were successful. So, I don't know. I, I like seeing these, uh, these little technologies. I am just gonna, I'm gonna break this phone. I'm gonna wreck it. There we go. That is now out of there. I'm gonna rock it. I wonder what I'm missing so that I'm not getting that out of there. Linux isn't perfect for gaming yet. That's why. Now Asus is an underdog? Well, so I'm not going to sit there and say they are because they're definitely not. But when it comes to the phone market, um, I mean, you don't hear their name very often. But I'm, I'm really impressed that Asus, they joined the game and they're doing things that I've never seen any other company do. They're adding features to a phone that I've never seen any other company add. Um, you've got a Sony camera. Because you know Sony kicks ass at making cameras. They always have. That makes sense. Go with the Sony sensor. You have a Samsung AMOLED display. Because, God damn it, do they have the best displays. That's a smart move. That's just a smart move. And Asus is doing that. That's two things already. Top tier shit that they're doing. You've got this audio DAC. LG used to do that, you know? Um, I, I've, I've seen that, like, when Razer came out with their first first ever phone, don't get me wrong, it wasn't lackluster, but there was, you know, there was a lot of trends they were following. There were things that felt missing. There were, it, it just kind of felt like it wasn't really complete. And same with the second version. 
You know, companies that dip their toes into the phone market, they're a little afraid to go all the way. They just kind of, they're like, well, we'll offer a little something extra. Or we'll do our own little gimmick, you know? There's my USB-C. Ooh, she is dirty. Dirty. Um, but it looked like Asus, I mean, they made phones before, don't get me wrong, and there was really nothing special about them. But the fact that they came all of a sudden with the ROG Phone 5, and they're just like, you know what, let's go balls to the wall. I mean, we're a gaming company, why not? Let's just, let's just go nuts. And they did. So I'm really impressed because that's a lot of money to spend on those components. You're, you're buying stuff from Sony, from Samsung. Um, that audio DAC is likely not cheap. Their speakers are likely not cheap. This phone is still hot. Oh, no, it's not. Because they are a gimmick feature for most of it. Every phone has an audio DAC. What? What are you talking about? Oh, oh, okay. Fine. Sorry. A jack. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking about the actual jack, you know? Like, we've got enough room in here. This is a huge-ass phone. And they never put that on there. Um, they're a gimmick feature for most of it. But what are you talking about? What feature is a gimmick? You know, like, don't get me wrong. The 144 hertz display, I don't need that. That's a gimmick, for sure. You know? The whole RGBs on the back, come on. That's a gimmick. Yeah. But an AMOLED screen? I don't know. That's pretty cool. It's pretty nice. If, if your phone is the thing you look at more than anything else, and don't tell me it's not, you could have a girlfriend in your phone is the more, you know, the thing you look at the most. Um, why not? AMOLED display, that was a smart move. Um... What else was it talking about? The battery life. Ha, that's not a gimmick. Every phone over $600 has an AMOLED nowadays. Sure. Yeah, the 700 hertz touch sample, that's ridiculous. That's unnecessary. That's, that is a totally a gimmick. But t tell me about the battery. This was a 4,000? Yeah. This is a 4,000 milliamp battery. Yep. And they bumped it up to 6,000. Plus, their, their battery software where you, could, you can decide where it um, stops charging so that you don't ruin your battery. That's not a gimmick. That's just good technology. That's awesome. You know, that's something uh, a lot of phones should have. Uh, Morty. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get this part out of here. This part, on the other hand... All right. Uh, did you try Linux on another computer? Have you seen the Linux phones? Excuse me? No. What Linux phone should I look up? That sounds kind of neat. How do I keep missing screws, man? How do I keep missing screws, dude? I'm missing all these screws. Show up to the party and I got no screw. Let's see if I can get that camera out of there. This is my rear camera. And I'm gonna break it. There we go. What are you attached to? I may need to get up under here first. Pop this out. Yeah, looks like it. Oh, I broke it. Freaking broke it. That's done. That's a done deal. So there's my rear camera right there. And then my front cameras, or my, no, that that's my front camera. These these are my rears, yeah. 
Um, a pineapple or pine phone is a good example. I wouldn't recommend it as a daily phone. No Android apps since Android is essentially a VM. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Yeah, that part isn't useful anymore. <laughs> yeah, that broke. That's done. Um, yeah. So, looks like my thermal paste was pretty chunky. So, yeah. That's okay. It was a done deal. Like I said, the whole thing was basically fried anyway. It's kind of amazing how heavy just this part is. I mean, it, it's metal and glass, but it's kind of insane because, I mean, you got your back plate here. That's, that's the phone. All right, I'm gonna tear this camera stiff part. Ah, I found you. Is it fixed yet? Well, Asus ROG Phone 5 isn't a bad phone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's why I think I want to... I want to go with that. Uh, and I'm sure some of you guys in the comments, there's some of you saying I could have fixed it. Um, Danielle. Danielle Carminati. Um, you probably could have. I, I think, um, I think if I had enough time with it and I was out trying to be more careful, I could have too. But again, I, I've had this phone for five years and I'm at the point with it where I'm like, I want to, I want to get something new. So I'm okay with what happened today. I was a little bummed though. I was like, you know, damn it. <laughs> I just lost my freaking phone. So, yeah, there's there's my camera. That thing came in handy quite a few times. Need to snap a dick pic. No, I'm messing around. I'm not that kind of guy. There's my rear camera. Yep. So that is the inside of the Razer Phone 2. And at this point, uh, I think we can go a little bit further. I think we can. Yep. Oh, that's gone. Get out of there. Wow, that's really in there. What in the hell are you? There we go. Oh, I see why. There's another screw in there. Man, it's crazy how hidden these things get. Okay. What in the hell? Is that a speaker? Oh, it totally is. Oh, neat. Okay. So that's a little speaker. Fix me next, Barry. Uh, is it ready for the bin yet? Almost. Almost. 
by the way, I can tell you're from the UK because you say the word bin. Normally we say garbage. Is it in the garbage? I'm going to take that screen off, though. I want to see what that looks like from the other side. So that might take me a sec to get to. So we still have a few more teardown minutes. Um, I have an exciting video coming up. How many of you guys saw the um, why I won't be buying the Steam Deck video? Let me know. How many of you guys saw that Steam Deck video from me? Oh, and did it piss you off? Because it pissed a few people on Reddit off. <laughs> they were like, mm, I'm a Reddit guy. I'm mad. It's kind of funny. I don't know. I saw that vid. Saw it. Love the vid. Okay, cool. So, um, a buddy of mine sees that video. And he's like, hey, um... Would you try the Steam Deck? And I was like, well, dude, of course I'd try the Steam Deck. He's like, well, I just thought you, you know, you kind of didn't like it. I was like, no, it's not that I don't like it. I just, I see the potential of it. And I'd like to see it go further in the future. You know, I just don't know if it's one of those things that I would want to get, you know, right now. Early adoption kind of thing. And he's like, well, I, I pre-ordered it like a year ago. And it's coming very soon. So if you want to do an unboxing of it and do a video on it, I'll let you borrow it. And he dropped it off today. So I have it right behind me. Um, right here. So I've got a Steam Deck video coming pretty soon. Um, and so we'll find out if my opinions were wrong. And we'll see if uh, this is worth the money and the weight um, that it would take for you guys to get it. Um, Steam Deck is not for everyone. Agree with you on the Steam Deck. I love the Steam Deck. I use it so much. Yeah, and that's what I was thinking too. Like if I had one, I think I would totally use it. Um, Bear definitely lied. He relapsed and bought a Steam Deck. Nice. Ugh. Even if I did, my god, there's no way they would have sent it to me so soon. You've been like, alright. You ordered it yesterday? Well, see you in a year. Yeah, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to... get that screen out of there. Unless... Time for the old razor again. Oh, yeah. Cracking glass. There we go. Alright, that was just my screen protector, guys. Don't worry so much. And now... And now... For the feature presentation. Oh, God! Okay, so someone asked, what's your current PC situation? Are you on a laptop? No. Aw, oh, damn it. What the hell? Did I tie down my webcam? This is dumb. Um, so I guess I can't show you, but um, there's a video that you ought to see. Uh, bullet me. I made a, um, a PC, built a PC, yes, copper, no, don't save, share, yeah, 
definitely watch that. And then also, there, there are three parts to that video. Um, there's me building it, there's me painting it, and then there's me fixing the airflow. And honestly, I think I can show you. Hang on a sec. Sorry, we're gonna go on a ride, guys. We're gonna go on an adventure. We're going downtown. Okay. So that's the PC. And this is all custom painted by yours truly. I have it on a swivel underneath my desk. And like a dum dum, I uh, basically glued my webcam to my screen so I, I can't just pull it off and show you. Um, so let's get back down to this. Oh, crap. I heated this up. Damn it. All right. Can you take a look on Instagram? Daniel, I would. I don't have a phone right now. So, Adam, uh, my friend is looking to get a Node 202. How big is it compared to the PS4? So, I actually, in that video, have a side-by-side -side comparison. Oh, no, I don't. Lies. I lied. I'm sorry. Um, how big is it compared to the PS4? It's definitely larger than a console, but it's, it's the smallest PC I've ever owned. Um... So, if you know anything about Falcon Northwest, they built Tiki's, and this thing is definitely larger than a Tiki. Um, but, I don't know, it's, it's, I mean, it's freaking small, so, I think you'll, Sorry, guys. I want to pick this crap off. It's all the speaker stuff. Come on. Oh, I'm going to break it. Oh, I'm going to break it. Please don't shoot glass up in my eye. Please. Yeah, this may not be worth it, to be honest. I think I'm going to shoot glass right up into my eye. I may have just got something in my finger. So, we're going to stop that right there. And we're going to bin this, as the British would say. This was the Razer Phone 2. This was one of my favorite phones that I've ever had. And I had this phone, this particular one, for four years. Actually, there is one thing I'm curious about. This is the vapor chamber. Um, so I want to dig in here real quick and see if there's any vapor left in this thing. Or if that's all gone. Dried up over the years. It's actually kind of difficult to get in there, it seems. There we go. Let me in. I want to be your friend. Let me in. Well, well. Looks like it doesn't want to come out. Okay. So yeah, there's the vapor chamber. There's supposed to be water in here. Oh, there we go. There we go. She's opened up now. I knew she would. Oh, there's no liquid in there at all. Yeah, that all dried up over the years. Yep. All right. Yeah, that was copper. Isn't that worth something? Okay. So, yeah. Had this phone for a long time. I loved her. She was great to me. Very sweet to me. Did everything I needed her to do.
And now, today, she broke. So, it's time to put her down, say goodbye the old fashioned way, flush her down a toilet like goldfish. Alright. So, I. I'm going to do some research on those ROG phones. I'll do some research on a bunch of different phones, and if you guys have a phone that you've been looking at and you really like it, um, if you were looking for a phone a few months ago and um, and you wanted to, you know, or you did buy it and you really like it, send me your suggestions, because I would like to hear about them. Um, my heart isn't set just yet. But that's just the one that I've been thinking about for a long time. Oh, I gotta get all these screws out of here. So, yeah. Um. Alright. So again, thank you guys so much. And I'm gonna go work on some videos. I might sleep for a little bit too. So.